certainly human bodies are made out of various tissues and bones and so forth, but isn't about 70% of our bodies just water? So to keep things simple, let's just consider how the E1 component of the EMP might interact with water molecules. And to start, let's consider just one mo water molecule. Are there any charges in a water molecule? Yes, there are water molecules. There are charges in water, mo water molecules. Water is H2O, so it is comprised of one oxygen atom, and two hydrogen atoms. If you ever took a chemistry class and were wondering why you had to take it to be an electrical or a computer engineer, here is an example of chemistry coming into play. Oxygen has two electrons, which we note with the two minus signs there, and each hydrogen atom has an opening for an electron, which is why they have a plus sign. So this means we even have separation of charge within a water molecule. That is, water is highly polar, even without an applied electric field from an outside source. So that's why we have an electric field here, and this is a dipole from the just the composition of and the orientation where everything is located in the water molecule. We have an electric field set up just by the water molecule all by itself. So even though the H2O molecule is charge neutral as a whole, from Coulomb's law, which we just talked about, an electric field exists within the water molecule because of the charged oxygen atom separated by some distance from the charged hydrogen atoms. So we're going to call this induced electric field from the separation of charge E dipole. We can draw a more simple but equivalent diagram of this sh shown here. So instead of drawing actually the oxygen and hydrogen atoms and so forth, well it's, um, we can uh, represent the positive hydrogen atoms by plus Q here, and the negatively charged oxygen atom by minus Q. But the t net total charge is zero. And there's an electric dipole which we can define as P, with a vector, has a direction associated with it, and it is QD. That's the electric dipole set up by this water molecule. And D is a vector directed from the negative charge to the positive region of charge. Now consider the EMP and the electromagnetic pulse as reaches the water molecule. And there's an electric field in that EMP. We're going to call that E applied. So this is from the EMP. So right now we're going to consider that it's in the downward direction. E applied is incident on the water molecule, as shown here for now. Can you figure out what effect E applied will have on this water molecule? 